In this video, I'm going to run through some basics of complex numbers. Uh, maybe you've studied complex numbers in the past, but maybe some of this is a little bit rusty. And in quantum mechanics, we use complex numbers all the time, so it's really critical that you understand the notation and feel really comfortable with this as quickly as possible. So let's start with a complex number x. And x is a variable, and in general, you should assume in quantum mechanics that any variable could be complex. So we can write this as a plus bi. So some notation uses j as the square root of negative 1. We're going to be using i. So i is defined to be the square root of negative 1. So what that means is if you have i times i, that equals negative 1. So basics of complex numbers. Now, uh, something we're going to want to do a lot is, in fact, the magnitude of a complex number. Now, if you think about this as like an xy plane, so for instance, we have the real on the horizontal axis and the imaginary on the vertical axis, we can think about our number as being a in the real direction and b in the imaginary direction. So then the magnitude of this, we can think of this as a triangle, basically. And so that would be a squared plus b squared. Notice that we're not squaring the i, it's just this magnitude. Now there's actually a different technique we can use. Now this uh, x star is the complex conjugate. And what we do with that is we keep the real part the same, but then we flip the sign on the imaginary part. So if this is x, the complex conjugate is in fact going to be down here. So this would be here our complex conjugate. So what's nice about this is we can express the magnitude of x as the square root of x times its complex conjugate. And if we think about that, what you have then is a plus bi multiplied by a minus bi. And so if you notice, you'll have your, your a squared, and then you'll have, if I do this first one times the second one, minus a bi plus a bi. And then here we're going to have b squared with a minus sign and i squared. The i squared gives us negative 1. So b squared. So these two cancel. And we're left with the square root of a squared plus b squared. So this is pretty important, this idea that when you have your uh, magnitude, you can find this as the square root of the value times its uh, complex conjugate. And in quantum mechanics, we actually use this the most. And we often are going to have terms that look like this. And in that case, that's just the value times its complex conjugate. So hopefully some of this is at least a review. Um, we'll do some, some specific examples, but this is the basics of notation.